When I was six years old, my mom took me to go see Wizard of Oz at Memorial Auditorium downtown. I, of course, really enjoyed the show, but that's not the point. After the show, I was walking back with my mom to the car, and one of the actors came up beside us and told my mom about a play called A Christmas Carol that Theater in the Park puts on every year. She told my mom that we should go watch a few of the auditions, and maybe try out in a few years if I thought it looked fun. But we didn't listen to her. I auditioned that year, and I was cast as Tiny Tim for the next four years. I've been acting ever since. Now obviously this story is very unusual. I'm certainly not trying to ask any of you to go perform on a stage that's that big if it's not something you want to do. What I am asking is that you take a closer look at acting and how it affects your life. First of all, I'm sure you've all heard on the announcements or seen flyers for school plays all throughout your time here. And since most schools have theater programs, it's a pretty common experience for high schoolers to have. But why should you care? Plays are expensive, right? And long and sometimes boring? I get that. You'd probably rather spend your time and money hanging out with your friends or watching Netflix or playing a sport. Most of you probably don't think of yourselves as actors, and the closest you ever want to get is poetry out loud. I will admit that there is a natural ability to be good at acting, just like there are natural abilities for any art or sports or school, but whether or not you know it, you are all actors. And I'm not trying to be cheesy and say, if you can read, you can cook, or anything like that. I mean that all of you are acting most of the time. Think about this for a minute. Do you act the same at home as you do in class? Do you act the same with all of your different groups of friends? Do you act the same around your boyfriend or girlfriend as you do around your parents? Did you notice that I have been asking you how you act this whole time? If the answers to those questions were no, then you've been acting. All of you really are actors. You've created different characters for different situations, and you play all those characters very well because you practice them all the time. You really are actors. Now you may say that this is not real acting, but it is. You're doing the exact same thing you have to do in a play. The only difference is that in a play, someone has already made up the character for you, and you have to adopt the character to make it one of your characters. This is harder than making up your own, but all of you can do it. Son, take care of my little rosebud. Oh, Paul, that's so pretty. You sure for certain? You can bear to let me go, Paul? Are you sure, Mr. Carnes? Just try to change my mind and see what happened to you. Oh, Allie Hankin, ain't it wonderful Paul making up our mind for us? He won't change neither. Once he gives his word that you can have me, why, you got me. I know, I got you. Uh, Miss Allie Hankin, the peddler's bride, wait till I tell the girls. We have to do this again now, don't we? At the very least, go see a play with an open mind. See if you like it. See if it looks like it'd be fun to be up on that stage. Even if you only want to be one person in a big group. If it looks like fun, give it a try. You may find yourself enjoying it a lot more than you thought you would.